Yes, this is another massive pupa of Megasoma Pia Sporioni. I just found it in a, a pupa chamber that has collapsed in the middle of the pretty wet substrate. So I decided also to take it out and to present uh, it a uh, new artificial pupa chamber. But first I want to show you how heavy this pupa is. It's of course from a male. And it's 83.4 grams. That's a really huge um, animal. And also the size of it, if we, if we measure it here, that's around 11 centimeters. So let's see how big it will be when we are lucky enough that it um, can develop to an adult. And let's have a look also here into this bigger lens. It's too big for this lens, but just to show you. Um, I had to remove a little bit of the of the dirt between the legs and, and uh, inside of the wrinkles of the outer uh, pupil skin so that um, it is in a clean environment where it could develop to a, to a beetle then. And also I have prepared the same thing that I do always just a box where I could um, put in these two peat pots and in the middle there's another peat pot so that it's a oval shaped lengthy um, pupil chamber where this animal uh, can develop and also I think I have to open here on the bottom a little bit so if the animal is trying to come out that it's not uh, too close to the body and so that there's space also for the development. Um, so now here's the middle part that I fill in. I have some more of, of them just to cover them later. And I think I need some more. Oh, here's another one. Yeah. So. Now this material here, it can dry out later, that's uh, not the problem, it shouldn't be real, really wet here in this uh, purple chamber, so I put in also this kind of uh, lengthy part so that the pupa can rest on, on this, um, and then yeah. And now we have to take the larva carefully. I know some people also write I shouldn't touch the larva too much, that's completely right, but if you want to save it and if you want to manage to help such a big, big pupa to develop to an adult, you must help this larva because otherwise she will die inside of this um, or inside of the dirt that she was living before. Because as I always said in other videos, um, it's probably a little bit too difficult to just present them the right material for their development inside a rearing box. So also like with uh, Goliatus larvae. We should try to give this larvae um, a special substrate just for pupation. So that um, uh, is a difficult aspect because we never know when they are ready for pupation. So let's make it now like, like this. I, I hope also that the pupa and the adult beetle that's going to emerge from it uh, finds a right, uh, the right surrounding to turn around while um, it closing from the pupil skin. So that's the way I do it. And now it goes uh, back to the room where it comes from, 25 degrees. And in around one month, uh, we will see what happened then. Thanks for watching.